This year is a very big year for the National Science Challenges with a number of the science challenges being brought together into the teams that will conduct the challenges. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to make a few comments for you as you prepare challenge proposals and bring your teams together. Uh, first thing is it's very important that the challenges not be considered as business as usual. It's not just a case of collecting together uh, existing science research and saying, slapping a title on it and calling it a national science challenge. The whole idea is that it be a lift of and, and a change of strategic focus to really deliver uh, some new results, some new findings in, in a particular challenge area. Now, of course, mission led. Uh, so we need a clear mission and we need a clear set of goals uh, to each challenge of what they're seeking to achieve. Obviously, as challenges develop, uh, new avenues of investigation will open up, uh, but we do need to have a sense of where we're trying to get with each challenge and we need that to come through in the proposals. Uh, they also, it's really important they be science-led. I mean, obviously institutions have an interest uh, in uh, how they participate in different uh, science challenges, uh, but the, the science board and the MB team will be looking to see uh, that it's science led, that it's the scientists that are driving the goals and the direction of the challenge and that the institutional arrangements are falling in behind uh, what the uh, lead scientists are proposing in relation to these challenges. Uh, I mentioned that it's not business as usual, we're looking to see additionality, uh, you know, what's the new uh, stuff that we're going to be achieving with these challenges and with this additional funding. We're also looking to see them very much as collaborative and multidisciplinary. The whole idea of the National Science Challenges is it's not okay this particular silo uh, or discipline, it's a cross-disciplinary approach based on uh, the areas that the challenge is designed to address. So for example in the health area, the public health people uh, working with the uh, biological health people uh, all seeking to address uh, a particular challenge. We're looking to see the best science and we're also looking for the best team. Um, the whole point here is that New Zealand's top scientists uh, get together and work collaboratively on these challenges and bring as much as possible uh, the top team that New Zealand can produce to bear for each of the science challenges. So that's another uh, important aspect of uh, successful challenge collaborations. And finally we want to ensure that each challenge uh, has thought of and developed a way of bringing in uh, new talent, new ideas, uh, new projects over the course of the challenge and having some contestability within that so people who perhaps are not uh, as strongly active in the outset of the challenge have the opportunity to, to come in and add value to the challenge uh, as each challenge proceeds. And I think that's very important as well. It needs to be part of the governance and set up of each challenge. Uh, so there's a lot there, but I think they're very exciting for New Zealand, these challenges, this opportunity to, to, to focus our science on some of the key issues that New Zealand faces over the next 20 years. I know that's what New Zealanders are looking for with the science challenges and certainly what I'm looking for. Uh, so I wish you all the best as you bring your challenge together.